Hey guys, today I'm going to show you one of my favorite setups for uh, bass fishing and actually it works pretty good for bow fin also um, if you get to do any of that where you're at. Um, I like to use the wacky rig. This setup seems to work really good all year round. A lot of people don't really use it um, as much as they should. It's a very good technique to use. It's slow falling. You can change the weight and make it fall a little faster. But I like it falling slow and that way it gives the fish more time to bite it basically. It makes it have a little better presentation. You know you're going to want to cast it out there. Give it some little jerks. It's going to make the worm dance when it's falling. Once you get that reaction strike. It's super easy to do and um, depending on how you hook the worm, if you hook it in the center, if you hook it to one side or the other, is going to depend on how that worm falls. So if you hook it to one end, it's going to actually make it fall a little more of an angle. And when it falls at an angle, it's not going to twitch quite as good, but if you hook it dead center, it's going to fall straight down, which is going to be a little slower. But I like to fish it on the Casking Medium Fast Action 7 foot rod with the Casking Stealth. Now the reason I like this setup is because the Stealth has a super smooth light spool. Um, it has 11 bearings and one in a reverse bearing which makes the, you know, as soon as you cast it out there, you click it and it's set, it's ready to go. It's got carbon fiber drag washers with like 16 pounds of drag. So pretty much any fish that you hook into, it's gonna be fine. Um, I used a 40 pound Fortis Parade on there too. It makes it a little stronger for pulling those fish out of grass. The, um, another thing that I like to do is I'll actually tie on a Duraplin 20 pound leader. It makes the uh, worm a little harder to spot and really clear water as far as fish see in the line anyway. The braid has a tendency to stick out a little bit. But uh, I hope that helps and uh, maybe I'll go over knot tying on how I tie that that braid to the mono or the dura blend I should say. And uh, hope it helps and hope you guys catch a bunch of fish. Let me know how you like the video and um, if you want to see anything or have any questions let me know and i'll get a video out as soon as i can you guys have a great day i'm going to try not to get run over by this boat out here but see you later